Hey everybody, it's Lindsay here from Maple Street Guitars, and today we're going to take a moment to discuss one of the most important and most common accessories for the guitar, which is the capo. Generally speaking, there are two different families of capos, those that have variable tension and those that have a fixed tension. There are reasons one might use either, but we're going to take a moment to discuss the benefits of each. The first thing you want to do whenever you are uh, playing a guitar, whether or not you use a capo, is to make sure it's in tune. So we just checked the tune of this guitar, and knowing that it's now in tune, we have to understand one other element about the guitar, which is that it's never actually perfectly in tune. So with that in mind, as we go up the neck with a capo, the disparity that fundamentally exists in the guitar can be more apparent. That can make it necessary to make little micro tuning adjustments as you use a capo. And more importantly, it makes it all that much more critical to place the capo carefully. That being said, let's look at a couple ways to place the capo. The first is a Kaiser capo. This is an example of a capo that has fixed tension and that it's just a spring. It's a glorified clothespin. With these kind of capos, it's very important to know that they can actually be so strong that they can hold strings out of tune especially if you put them on really quickly. So with that in mind, it's very important to open them wide, position them over the place where you're going to be capoing, and gently lower them in. Even doing that, you might still get some tuning issues, but we'll go over that next. So the other type of capo that we offer and actually recommend here would be something that has variable tension. The Shub C1 here is a good example of that in that we can use this little thumb wheel to adjust for the thickness of the guitar's neck and thereby get a more exact pressure. So a good capo should work actually just like your hand. It only exerts as much tension as needed to fret the note, no more. Uh, fixed tension capos can be so strong, again, that they can actually bend something out of tune. So we like the fixed uh, tension for their convenience. We like variable tension for their precision. So no matter which capo you choose to use, uh, it's important to check the guitar's tuning in a couple different places on the neck. Uh, this ensures that you have kind of a happy medium with respect to getting around this disparity that exists on the guitar. I personally do this in a couple of ways, using um, a fretted note at the fifth string and an open string next to that. That's the good old relative tuning approach we all know. But you can also do the open string with a fretted note at the 7th fret on the adjacent string. And then at the 1st position, I also check by skipping notes. Skipping strings, rather. By doing this, it ensures that when you put the capo down, you're probably going to be very close in tuning. So one of the reasons we prefer capos with variable tension is that it's usually easier to get a guitar in tune with the capo placed right off the bat. Uh, even so, you can sometimes have a little tuning issue uh, with a very precise capo like this Shub. And in my experience, most of the time the capo has pulled a string sharp. So you're best off looking for or listening for the string that is sharp and then maybe giving it just a little bit of a tug. Uh, that will often reseed it, pull everything back into tune. So, if anything, check for the sharp string. Okay, so of everything that I've discussed, this is the cardinal sin of using capos, which is trying to tune through the capo that's already in place. Uh, just keep in mind that the capo is actually adding a lot of tension to the strings and holding them down. And so whatever adjustments you're making here while trying to tune through the capo are going to be exaggerated, such that when you take the capo off, the guitar will be really out of tune. So if you have a problem with the tuning of uh, the guitar once the capo is in place, it is always best to start by just removing the capo, double checking your tuning, and then carefully repositioning it. Chances are the tuning is probably due to the fact of how the capo was applied. Once again, this is Lindsay here at Maple Street Guitars, and I hope you found this little demo about capos helpful. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call at 404-231-5214.
find us on the web at MapleStreetGuitars.com or just swing on by the store. We'd love to help you. Thank you.